Green hydrogen energy is quickly becoming a key player in India's journey towards sustainable and clean energy. India aims to become Atmanirbhar through clean energy and serve as an inspiration for the global clean energy transition. India has announced a target of energy independence by 2047 and a net zero by 2070. Green hydrogen is expected to play a substantial role towards achieving these goals. Today, we are going to discuss the best 7 green hydrogen stocks to invest now. I will give you 5 reasons why you should invest in this sector. The first reason is government support and funding. The Indian government's commitment to green hydrogen is evident through substantial budget allocations, such as the 600 crore allocated to the National Green Hydrogen Mission in the interim budget 2024. The second reason is rapid sector evolution. Driven by demand from various industries, including oil refineries, exports, and ammonia fertilizer producers, India's green hydrogen sector is experiencing rapid evolution. The third reason is the National Green Hydrogen Mission. Launched in January 2023, the National Green Hydrogen Mission aims to promote the production, usage, and export of green hydrogen and its derivatives. The recent approval of provisions worth 20,000 crore, including production-linked incentives, signifies the government's commitment to fostering a thriving green hydrogen ecosystem. The fourth reason is economic and environmental benefits. As India aims to become energy independent by 2047 and achieve net zero by 2070, green hydrogen emerges as a key player in this ambitious transition. The fifth reason is market potential and growth. Investments in green hydrogen are projected to surpass 8 lakh crore, creating over 6 lakh jobs and averting nearly 50 MMT per annum of co 2 emissions by 2030. I believe everyone who watches my channel is bullish on the Indian economy and wants to invest in the stock market. But a common complaint among many retail investors is related to the heavy brokerages charged by brokers. What if I can suggest a platform where you can invest without any brokerage? The platform I am talking about is M-Stock. For a one-time fee of just 999 rupees plus GST, you can trade at zero brokerage for life. Yes, you heard it right, zero brokerage for life. And that applies to all products, delivery, intraday, futures and options, mutual funds, IPOs, and currency trading. And let's talk about the features. One-click order execution, voice search, pre-design index baskets, making trading efficient and user-friendly. There is also no limit for the orders, and ML Stock provides a hassle-free onboarding facility. You can also get a free lifetime annual maintenance charge by paying an additional 999 rupees, else pay 120 every quarter as AMC. Let's also talk about the margin trading facility of ML Stock. Margin trading facility will be a lifesaver for all frequent option traders. MS Stock provides margin trading facility at one of the lowest daily interest rates. With up to 80% funding and an unlimited holding period, you have got the flexibility you need for successful trading. In the past year, MU Stocks have achieved 8.5 lakh plus happy customers and a whopping 40 crore plus trades. Now, you might be wondering, who's behind MU Stock? Well, it's powered by Mire Assets, a finance company with a solid reputation built over the past 15 years. Remember, this one-time investment of 999 rupees could save you hefty brokerage fees. Open your MU Stock Demat account today and save thousands in brokerage annually. You can open the account by clicking the link in the description and pinned comment. If you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe. Also, share my videos with your friends and family and anyone who might be interested. So let's get started. The first stock is the largest private sector company in India. From oil to digital services, this company operates in many sectors. This company unveiled India's first hydrogen internal combustion engine technology for heavy-duty trucks, signaling a significant step towards sustainable transportation solutions. This stock also partnered with Bharat Benz to develop India's first intercity luxury concept coach powered by hydrogen fuel cell technology. This stock is laying down infrastructure for the distribution of green hydrogen. The market cap of the stock is 20,10,289 crores. The stock I am talking about is Reliance Industries. Did you know, a company in India has partnered with Reliance to make hydrogen-powered buses. If you know the stock, comment below. Reliance is making headlines with its whopping $10 billion investment in a new energy ecosystem. Reliance has been making strategic moves, teaming up with original equipment manufacturers to supply green hydrogen, a crucial component in the shift towards renewable energy. The Dhirubhai Ambani Green Energy Giga Complex, 
set to become one of the largest renewable energy manufacturing facilities globally. Leveraging their solar and wind energy storage capabilities, Reliance is planning to establish a fully integrated, automated gigascale electrolyzer manufacturing facility. Reliance Green Hydrogen and Green Chemicals LTD was selected to receive incentives under the PLI scheme. This company's revenue comes from oil and gas production, Reliance retail stores, geo digital services and media entertainment services. If you want a detailed analysis of Reliance, let me know in the comments. The next stock is a power generation company. This stock was established to accelerate power development in India. Over the years, it has become the dominant power major, engaging in the entire value chain of power generation. This stock is planning to build India's largest green hydrogen project with a capacity of 1,200 tons per day. The market cap of the stock is 3,31,868 crores. The stock I am talking about is NTPC. From fossil fuels, NTPC has diversified into hydro, nuclear, and renewable energy, contributing significantly to reducing carbon footprint. NTPC is India's largest integrated power utility, contributing one-fourth of the power requirement of the country. NTPC started India's first green hydrogen blending operation in January 2023. A fully owned subsidiary of NTPC called NTPC Green Energy Limited takes up the renewable energy parks and projects, including business in the area of green hydrogen, energy storage technologies, and round the clock renewable energy power. NTPC became a Maharatna company in May 2010. NTPC is not just about power generation, it has diversified its business into consultancy, power trading, training of power professionals, rural electrification, ash utilization and coal mining. This diversification has strengthened its core business and positioned NTPC as a key player in various sectors. From Corporate Governance Excellence Awards to Sustainability Awards, NTPC has consistently been recognized for its outstanding contributions. The company has also been ranked as the second independent power producer globally. The company made strategic acquisitions, acquiring stakes in THTC India LTD and Northeastern Electric Power Corporation Limited. NTPC Group has achieved the fastest ever 300 billion units generation on December 18, 2023. This accomplishment reinforces NTPC's commitment to delivering reliable and affordable power to the nation. The next stock is the largest state-owned natural gas company. This stock has been an integral part of India's energy landscape since 1984. They are an integrated energy company in the hydrocarbon sector. This stock operates over 65% of India's total CNG stations. Stock is responsible for 67% of PNG connections in India. They supply gas for about 73% of India's fertilizer production. They also supply gas for about 63% of India's gas-based power. The market cap of the stock is 1,19,108 crores. The stock I am talking about is Gale India Limited. Gale is preparing to commission the country's first green hydrogen project in April 2024. So once operational, this unit is expected to produce approximately 4.3 metric tons of hydrogen per day. This green hydrogen production unit will rely on renewable power sources. This project is a very important step for India. Gale is among the top 10 global LNG portfolio marketers, with the government of India aiming to boost the share of natural gas in the country's energy mix. This stock stands to benefit from the favorable demand growth for natural gas. Beyond transmission, Gale has ventured into downstream sectors like petrochemicals and LPG, diversifying its revenue streams and leveraging its efficient natural gas sourcing capabilities. By investing in startups in various sectors, Gale is actively contributing to the evolution of the industry. This company was initially given the responsibility of construction, operation maintenance of the Hajira, Vijapur, Jagdishpur pipeline project. It was one of the largest cross-country natural gas pipeline projects in the world. The next stock is a company dealing with clean energy and electric vehicles. This stock provides EPC and solar advisory services. This company is on a mission to revolutionize the renewable energy sector. Prime Minister Modi announced PM Suryodhya Yojana to install rooftop solar panels on the houses of middle and poor class citizens, providing 1 crore households with 300 units of free electricity every month. This stock is to benefit the most from this program. The market cap of the stock is 3,423 crores. The stock I am talking about is Gensel Engineering. Gensel has bagged an order to develop NHPC's Green Hydrogen Mobility Station project in Ladakh. This EPC plant consists of the green hydrogen system installation, storage, 
and dispensing facilities. Jensen also installs advanced electrolyzer plants for green hydrogen production for various companies. They have three key segments, EBC, EV manufacturing, and EV leasing. Their solar solutions span across engineering, procurement, and construction, covering ground-mounted and rooftop solar power plants. They have a combined capacity exceeding 590 megawatts. Jensel takes solar management to the next level with comprehensive monitoring and analysis. The order book for the EPC business alone stood at an impressive 1,025 crore. Jensel has recently bagged new orders from NHPC, Maharashtra State Power Generation, and Sharda Energy and Minerals. Jensel has an electric vehicle manufacturing facility in Pune. They produce three-wheelers and four-wheelers and have a capacity to produce 30,000 vehicles. Jensel wants EV vehicles to be accessible to everyone and so they started EV leasing. Jensel has already leased more than 3,000 EVs. They plan to lease 5,000 EV cars and 1,000 EV cargoes in the next 12 months. By 2025, they aim to reach a total revenue of rupees 2,030 crore. The next stock is one of the largest renewable companies in India. They are also the second largest solar power developer in the world. This company operates in the renewable energy spectrum with a primary focus on solar and wind power. The company has a significant operational capacity with projects spanning across 12 states in India. This company has recognized the potential and growth opportunities in the green energy sector early on. The company operates Kamuti Solar Power Project, one of the largest solar plants in the world. The market cap of the stock is to lakh 99,913 crores. The stock I am talking about is Adani Green Energy. Adani Group is already the largest renewable energy producer and for the green hydrogen project. Green hydrogen produced by splitting water using renewable electricity is a clean fuel with no carbon emissions. It can be used as a feedstock in industries like steel and oil refineries and as fuel in automobiles and produces water on being burnt. Adani Green Energy is building world's largest hybrid renewable energy park. So this company's contributions play a major role in India's efforts to meet its renewable energy targets and reduce carbon emissions. Adani Group will invest $20 billion over the next decade in renewables, green component manufacturing, and the enabling infrastructure to accommodate a greater share of renewables in India's energy system. Adani New Industries Ltd, a wholly owned subsidiary of flagship Adani Enterprises, has spent $2.5 billion so far in developing a backward integrated value chain for its green hydrogen project. The next stock is an Indian multinational engaged in EPC projects, high-tech manufacturing, and services. This stock operates in over 50 countries. They operate in a diverse range of sectors including infrastructure, hydrocarbon, power, process industries, defense, information technology, and financial services. The market cap of the stock is 5,23,316 crores. The stock I am talking about is Larsen Tobro. This stock has achieved a significant milestone in the clean energy space by commissioning its first indigenously manufactured electrolyzer at the green hydrogen plant in Gujarat. LT Electrolyzers has been allocated a significant 300 megawatt annum capacity under the production link incentive of the National Green Hydrogen Mission. LT Electrolyzers have good potential to emerge as a key player in electrolyzer manufacturing. The infrastructure segment, which accounts for 51% of their revenues, focuses on engineering and construction projects ranging from buildings and factories to transportation infrastructure. Next up, we have the hydrocarbon segment, comprising complete EPC solutions for the global oil and gas industry. This includes everything from design to commissioning. The power segment, although smaller at 3% of revenues, offers turnkey solutions for thermal power plants. Moving on to the defense engineering segment, Larsen Tobro LTD has a long-standing history in this sector, providing equipment, systems, and platforms for defense and aerospace. The company also boasts a record-high order book of over Rs 4 trillion, with substantial order inflow across domestic and international markets. The next stock I am going to talk about is a small cap stock. The interesting fact is that many of you are not even aware of this stock. This company is the leading manufacturer of hydrogen transportation pipes. This stock plans to deliver annually 5 lakh tons of hydrogen with their existing setup. Efficiently delivering hydrogen gas was a big hurdle for many companies and this stock was able to solve that problem. So this stock will be a key player in the green hydrogen sector. Green hydrogen as an alternative fuel is bringing a revolution to the energy sector. 
the transportation of hydrogen is a new opportunity since the conventional pipelines are only available for oil and gas. Since the world is moving towards net zero carbon emissions, this stock finds massive opportunity in domestic and global scale. A significant portion of their revenue comes from sale of pipes to overseas markets which is around 60 to 70 percent. This company is also one of the largest manufacturers of large diameter carbon steel line pipes. These pipes are used to deliver oil and gas, petrochemicals, hydrocarbons, and water. The market capitalization of the stock is 2,366 crores. The stock I am talking about is Man Industries. Don't forget to check out the link to open an M stock account today, which is provided in the description and pinned comment. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.